hey, you know, too too many words, too long. Keep an eye on those. You want it to be um, your subject line to be eye catching, um, but also just the facts because we all scan our inbox and. If something's coming from my tax preparer, I want to see it quickly and I want to jump on it because it could be very important for me. Or it just might be some other, you know, um, something about S-Corps and I'm not an S-Corp, you know. So you want to keep the subject lines clear and clean and simple. And as few words, maybe five, really like just a couple like, you know, uh, tax news. And then if it's something important about tax changes, just say tax changes 2023 or whatever. So people know this is important. This is more about your business. This is about your taxes. Short brief emails. Um, essay writers need to be blog, blog writers. Um, we want bullet points. We want things to be scanned and bite-sized information. Um, use headings or breaks, you know, double space in between different topics different like changing the topic we're talking about your taxes here and down here um uh in the second paragraph i'm talking about my services so break them up using headings that's also good for your website too by the way um include a call a cta also known as a call to action what is your goal for that particular email do you want to receive more calls about a new service uh do you want people to be informed and better prepared for their next appointment um you you can determine you know what's the it's kind of like what's the point of my my newsletter and that's the call to action you want them to fill out a survey a uh, post or write a review you have to ask them to write a review um and say hey and here's a link to to google can you go please write a review um when you have a second that's a good call to action too by the way preview preview your email on your desktop and mobile so mo all of the systems will allow you and enable you to look and preview.